arrest of Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilo now seems to have revived the bitter political rivalry between the ruling Jubilee Party and the opposition NASA. While the opposition has opposed the arrest of DCJ, those in the Jubilee side seem to be comfortable with the way the Director of Public Prosecutions is handling corruption matters. Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Tairu interviewed ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna on the latest stand in the fight against graft. The ODM uh, Secretary General yesterday sent a statement uh, where he had reservations in regards to the arrest and uh, the uh, arraigning in court of the uh, uh, Deputy Chief Justice. Well, uh, uh, Edwin Sifuna, welcome to KTN News. Yesterday you had uh, your reservations. Kindly uh, try to explain to us uh, why these reservations are uh, and why now, uh, noting that uh, uh, initially you, you as a party you had already uh, supported the fight against graft. Well, I must reiterate that uh, even as we speak, uh, we as a party still support the war against corruption and impunity. It is something that we have been singing and saying uh, all this time. But uh, we have, uh, even in the statement that we issued yesterday, we made it clear that uh, we are not against the prosecution or that uh, indeed we still support the efforts by the DPP to end impunity in this country. Uh, what we uh, cautioned was that uh, in the historical context of a country and uh, where it is that we have come from, it, it is less than 11 months, uh, Thairu, when uh, we were embroiled in this dispute uh, regarding the presidential election. And there were certain pronouncements that uh, were made by the then Jubilee candidate, uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, that uh, once uh, the election matters were done with, that there would be a revisit of the judiciary because essentially they were very unhappy with uh, uh, the decision of the Supreme Court to annul the August state elections. Don't you think that this uh, whole scenario is now taking the political dimension, noting that uh, most of the lawyers who are now uh, uh, in defense of uh, the DCJ are from uh, the NASA and actually participated in the NASA presidential petition? First of all, I always protest this uh, moniker that attaches to lawyers, that these are NASA lawyers or these are ODM lawyers. First of all, uh, you must know that uh, before even your ordinary ODM member, they have a very strong sense of right and wrong, which is why many of these uh, top legal minds are also members of ODM. But that does not mean that they are ODM lawyers, as people like to call them, or NASA lawyers. These are the top legal minds in the country. And that uh, essentially when there is uh, a matter of great controversy, uh, you will always see the best brains uh, battling it out in the, in the courts. To think that uh, it leaves a room for those who are speculating that maybe the DCJ might be or might have been linked to uh, uh, some of the lawyers during that uh, presidential petition? First of all, that is absolute nonsense. But uh, we cannot stop speculation. I mean, uh, as a person, I cannot stand here and, and, and not say uh, people should not speculate. We can also not fault perception because perception is a very subjective thing. Uh, if it is viewed in that light, there is really nothing that we can do. But the truth of the matter is this. These are top legal brains that should be available to every person who would like to have legal representation. And in law, there is a rule called the cap rank rule, that if you are approached as a lawyer to represent somebody in court, you really do not have an option unless there are compelling reasons for you not to represent that person. If that person believes that you are the best representation that they can get in the circumstances, then you have a responsibility and a duty as a lawyer to give it your best.